Hello, plastic people. Today I'm going to unbox kit from DLL PDF. This is the salad fork kit from them. This is the 150 millimeter version, and I'll put a link in the description. So I ordered this kit a little over a month ago. It did take a while for them to get it shipped out to me. They were good in keeping me up to date uh, with everything. And once they got it shipped, it was here pretty quick. I'm in Nashville, Tennessee. I think it was coming from uh, someplace on the East Coast, uh, Maryland, it says. So let's see what we've got. Got my invoice, got a thank you note here. Let's see what this has. Oh, this was the refund for, uh, I ordered something that was part of the kit. Uh, so he just sent me, wasn't but $6, but hey, $6 more that goes back into my pocket. Uh, so it looks like it's packed quite well. Looks really nice. I did order the gunmetal uh, frame so you can see these are all nicely wrapped and uh, more of a shinier almost a uh, dark aluminum color not quite a gunmetal but I haven't printed any of the parts for that exact reason I wasn't sure how the color was going to be so going on that, I was looking at these two, uh, the dark blue for my primary and the teal for my uh, accent, and that may still work. I'll print out a couple pieces just to see how they're gonna look, and mayhap I'll change up my uh, color scheme uh, and just see what I can find that plays nice off of these. And again, this is the 150 mil bed. Uh, looks like we've got all the extrusions here. They do come with the uh, nut bars, so you don't have to mess with uh, the printed parts for those. So that is nice. Uh, got a sticker from, from them and a couple of peppermint. rails uh i'll have to of course pull these and clean them looks like it is packed extremely well though i'm not going to complain on that part for sure uh, all the extrusions look nice they are uh already drilled so that's a nice thing all right let's get those out of the way all right, looks like we've got some motors. This should be our power supply. So we've got a Meanwell UHP 35024 power supply. So that'll be running everything. I uh, do believe this is a 24 volt bed. Uh, Fans, all your motors. What do we have here? Uh, Winha. Looks like these are uh, star drivers. So that's nice. So you get some tools. Your uh, rod for the, that should be for the Z-axis uh, end stop or Z-axis end stop. Brass for your, should be for your Z-axis again. Looks like your cable chains, your fans uh, should be the, yep, your all the Z-axis screws or Z-axis screws, depending on where you're at in the world. 
So they are integrated into the motors. All your screws, nuts, whatnot, your hardware for everything nicely labeled in these little cups. Another one of the nut bars. So far, I'd definitely say it's really well packed. Can't really complain about how they've got it packed. Uh, here's our Bontech gears for the extruder uh, and other extruder parts. Uh, cabling for probably for the uh, Z-axis motors or could be the other motors as well. Uh, belt. Spherical bearings for the uh, three corners, uh, along with a therm the thermal fuse for the bed. Omron switches for the end stops uh, and your uh, 20 tooth GT2 uh, idlers. All right your power inlet and the other motors uh, so the other those are the would be for the ZN stop uh, J Kong motor on all of these uh, and then of course your extruder motor I do have a set of v0.1 motors for these motors if i need to their ldo uh, but i'll build with these and see how they work all right get under here have our build plate and our heater so i will have to attach the heater uh, and silicone it Got your DIN rails. I do have in my box down here with my electronics. I did have to order the build plate separate. Uh, I don't remember the brand. I bought this on Amazon. Uh, it came with the magnet and whatever this C2 print surface is as well. And then I've got the Octopus. The electronics were not part of this kit, so I do have those separate. I don't think I'll ever get it back in this box as neatly as it was. So we got another piece here. Got our panels. Uh, this might be the bottom. Looks to be the bottom. Uh, I did get uh, ACM. You can see it here, the silver ACM. That'll go nice with those uh, extrusions and then the rest are, for the most part, just clear panels. Can go back in here. That looks like that is all of it. Move this out of the way. Kind of set these out. This will be a project. I'm not sure if I'll start this tomorrow or next weekend i've got uh, a beer to brew tomorrow so this may get pushed back to next weekend and we'll say it's packed quite well everything's got nice foam around it no real problems with any of that Nicely labeled for them, uh, pretty much everything here. 
If it's not labeled, it's something that you pretty much will know what it is anyway. Shouldn't be a problem with uh, figuring out Bontech gears and belts and some of the cabling. So that's nice. I will have to get the rails cleaned and lubricated. So we've got uh, your x-axis uh, on the large one and your z-axis and your y, X, or y on the others. And all the extrusions. So that looks pretty good. Put that up here with that. Don't know if I'll ever use this one, but I like my flex steel. I may uh, look into textured because that one's only PEI on one side. Then I have the octopus board will be my controller. Uh, that will be running the whole thing. Drivers, I put the heat sinks on them already. Raspberry Pi 4, I uh, believe that's a 2 gig. I did order some extra fans for underneath to cool the electronics. The uh, sex bolt mod kit, uh, I think this may have, it. May, I don't see the parts for the full sex bolt, just the, the stopper. And then I will be doing CAN bus on this. So we've got the uh, just EBB 36 CAN board for the tool head. And then the U2C CAN board. Uh, this will connect USB to the Pi. And then it will connect USB uh, to the Octopus, which will give me uh, CAN control of the Octopus board and then uh, can out into the can in for the uh, EBB36. So that should work out nice. I have flashed these and got them running using the Pi. Uh, the Pi does have software on it already for main sale. I do have to do the Octopus yet. I didn't have the power supply to power the Octopus and flash clipper onto it but I did check to make sure my CAN boards were working and were recognized. That's the first time I'll be running cans, so that's going to be a learning process. We'll see how it goes. Uh, everybody seems to like it that are running it, so hopefully I'm the same on that. All right, guys, that was a uh, unboxing, just real quick and simple of this kit everything looks uh looks to be good quality everything's labeled well i'm not going to complain about it uh i'll take i'll go through the bomb later make sure i'm not missing anything i knew i needed to get the bed the build surface the actual flex plate uh and i knew i needed the electronics uh the electronics were uh picked up through uh, Big Tree Tech's web page. I'll, I'll see if I can remember to get a link in there for that. The kit for the Solid Fork 150 was through DLL PDF. I'll put a link in there for that. The bed plate, the uh, build surface was through Amazon. Uh, let's see, that's a Honey Badger heater. I don't see a name on these... Uh, rails they do not have stoppers on them it looks like they look like the uh maybe the cna rails the highwind clones uh as long as they're as long as they're nice and smooth i'm not going to complain about it uh, i've got ldo rails and i've got some uh cna rails uh, on my v2 and they work fine and these feel good i don't hear anything wrong it's got good movement so give them a clean get some of that grease off and give them a lube and they should be good uh, 
least on these sevens, they do not have a lube port on the carriage. The MGN9 does not appear to have one either. Uh, make sure of that. No lube port, so again, it's not gritty. There's not. I'm not feeling anything wrong with it. Nice and smooth. Sounds like a rail. So we should be good there. Okay, well, I'm going to get this stuff organized so uh, I can start building. Uh, I will be streaming that. I'm not sure when yet. If I can, I might start tomorrow on like the frame and uh, then pick up next weekend on the rest on, on, on getting it going in earnest. Uh, I will be changing my work schedule. So I'm going to try to shoot for probably Sunday night uh, streams that I think will work out pretty good uh, with my work schedule and everything else going on. All right, guys, thanks for uh, watching. Uh, keep an eye out for those streams, and I'll see you in the next one.